and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another uh, um, Pokemon uh, video. Um, th you know, this time we'll be doing Generation 4 because we've done Generations 1 through 3 um, before, so um, we'll do Generation 4 now. And it's me again because Max is busy today. So, just like in every previous generation, we're going to have all of the starters in because I doubt they'll get rid of many, if any, of the starters and It's going to be hard to tell which starters, if any, they are actually going to get rid of. Actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Starly line can stay because I um, Starly. I don't know if, if there's any many of them, um, many Starlies in England, but um, I just like the Starly line. Badoof is cute, and I do love Badoof, but there's no, there's not really any beavers in England. Actually, did there used to be beavers in England? There might have been, but I don't think there is anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna make Badoof and Bibarel a possible. Ha I'm gonna do half or maybe. I don't think Cricketot or Cricketoon will be in it because um even though they do have the best cry still they do whoop um they're they're just um probably not gonna be there. I see no real reason for the Shinx line to be there although I do love Sh I do think Shinx is cute. I do think Luxray looks cool but I don't think there's any real reason for them to be there. I think Badu and Roserade will be there and I don't know about the fossils. Again fossils um they're like the starters. They could be in. They could. They could not be in it. I don't know because you, the you, you know, you are. It would be possible either way. Like you just need to go like um, into the mines or quarry or somewhere and get fossils. So I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of the Bamy line because who gives? Nobody really cares about Bamy, and who gives a damn about where Madame? And then that means Moffam has to go. I think Combi and Vespercoon have actually been confirmed, but yeah, we do have bees, so I guess they can stay. I'm going to say possibly we can stay because we do have the squirrels here. Like we, there's even like the British. Uh, I think it's British red squirrels, or I oh know there's there's British squirrels and American squirrels. So maybe there might be a Pasuvisu and then another species of squirrel, and then maybe that Pasuvisu and the other species. of Squirrel fight like one could be ground and or a new one could be ground or something that's weak to electricity or something like that. Um, Breezel and Floatzel. I don't know the water, so I don't know. I, I, I really don't know about water because we there is a lot of water with it, with us just being an island. Um, so possible, but I don't know uh, about that. Cherubi and Cherum. I don't know. I don't think cherries grow in the wild around here, so probably not. Shallows and Gastrodon are sea slugs, so possibly because we do there there is an ocean. Like I literally live five a five minute walk from the ocean, so possibly. Ambi palm, uh, probably not, because there's no real reason for a palm to be in it. But I think I play palm. I don't know. I don't think Ambi palm will be there. Driftloon and Driftloon, maybe, um, maybe, I just don't, I don't know, the balloon and the blimp, so maybe they'll be in it. I see no real reason for Baneri and the Dot Lot Pony to not be in England, because there are rabbits here, rabbits do live in the wild around here. I want Miss Maggie is to be in it because there's a ghost step, and I like the ghost step. Honchcrow, um, should be in it because I think Mercrow. I put Mercury down as being in. I, I don't even. Maybe Mercury might even be confirmed. I don't know. I has, I see no reason for Glad Owl and Pear Ugly to be not be in it. Um, Chingling. Is Bella can be in there, I guess. I don't know about Stunky and Stunk Tank because we don't really have any um, skunks around here, so. Possibly because uh, they do have a unique typing, but I'll give them, like, maybe, maybe not. 50 50 chance on them. Confirmed, which makes me happy, because um, Bronzong is a good um, trick room setter. I don't know about Bonsley. I don't know. Sudo, I don't know. 
And then, nope. Hapini, yes, I can. I guess Hapini can stay. And um, Chatots, well, African Greys are one of the most common types of pets, so I guess you could go off like Chatots are one of the most common types of pets. Spirit Tomb, because why not? And they could they could live like near or around Stonehenge or whatever Gala's equivalent of Stonehenge is. I want to Gibble, Gabite, and Guy Jump in just because I love them, but I do also think we do have a desert so they could live in there. Munchlax, uh, I think Sn Snorlax has been confirmed, maybe, I don't know. My only one, Lucario, will probably just be in it just because they're fan favourites. Um, again, Hippa Hippautos and Hippaldon, we do have a desert so they could live there. Same with Skorupai and Jurapion. I just want Krogunk because it's cool. Uh, kind of, I can go. Phineon and Luminion. Well, they could be in there, they're just forgettable, so I don't really want them in there. Um, I think Mantag's been confirmed. Right. I like the idea behind Snowva and the Bomb of Snow. I don't like their typing. Ice is a nice offensive type, not a slow, bulky type. So they can uh, go, but Weavile has to be in it if, you, if we're talking competitively because Weavile is the only non-legendary OU ice type. And then the only other ice type that is above it is in Uber. The only other ice type that's not in an OU, that isn't a, a below OU, is an Uber's and that would be uh, Kyrim White. And Cairo and Black is OU, so Weavile needs to be in there just because it, we need a uh, good um, ice type. Magnazone, because it's legitimately one of the best designed Pokemons of all time. Licky Licky can go a bye bye. I mean, right, let's talk about Licky Licky quickly. They did the best with what they had. That's enough said. Viperia should, uh, should stay. Tangrowth. Well, yeah, we actually did see the desert area when we saw Tyranitar, so Rhyperior or, or Rhydon could live with, live in the same area as Tyranitar. Uh, Electivire and Magmatar. I don't think we have any lavery areas, so maybe not Magmatar. Um, I don't know about that, but maybe they could live in, like, industrial, near or around, in or around industrial cities um, to fuel furnaces or something like that, and Electivire. Uh, that, that could... You could work that in as well. Togekiss, because I want uh, that Serene Grace. Yan Mega, because it's cool. Leafeon, because the EV's probably going to be in it, let's be honest. Gliscor, because it's got a unique type in add, is actually quite good in uh, competitive. Mamo Swine, because it's legitimately one of the best ice types. While it's not OU like uh, Revival, it is still pretty dang good. Polygon Z, because I love it. Gallade, because it's a unique typing, and I think Volsal will probably be in it, so I don't probably. Probo Pass, pff, I don't know, I see no real reason that I can think of off the top of my head to have it in, but I wouldn't mind having it in. Dusknu, oh excuse me, Dusknu, because it's ghost type, Frostlass, ghost type, Rotom, ghost type, and the forms come with it. I, I love ghost type, if you couldn't tell. Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel. Right, so here's something I gotta talk about. Um, so yes, Generation 4 is my favourite and I do criticise Generation 5 for having a lot of legendaries. Um, yeah. But while I will say Generation 4 does have a, a good number of legendaries, um, they are, for the most part, um, Warranted, and it the fact the the whole thing around Generation Four was building up lore and the, the, everything around Pokemon. So, event eventually, so these uh, so like um, something like the, uh, the a Pokemon that controls time and space and the just God Pokemon was probably inevitable. If Gen Four didn't do it, then the later generation probably would have at some point. Anyway, the three beings that embody emotions. 
I see no real reason that they would not be in Gala. They live in in Lakes in Generation Four, um, but and there are a lot of lakes uh, in England. Well, there's a lot of water in general around here, so I see no real reason for them to not be in Gala. But then again, I'm only going to give them half. You know, a 50-50 chance on them because. Um, again, they don't want too many legendaries, so maybe we could announce some of the more not as memorable. Well, because I'm, I don't think they're really, even really that high tier. Like, if I quickly go over to here, work offline, team builder, Ux, Uxie is RU, Mess, Mess Bread is PU. And as elf is you you so they're not really that high in the tiers. All I do think they should be a bit higher than P U U U and R U. I do concede that they aren't that competitively the best Pokemons ever. So you know, I don't know, but maybe then they could get a chance to shine. They are going Palk here again, right? So here's the problem we have with these. There's two. Th there's a good argument for both. Yeah, they should and shouldn't be in there. Good argument for why they shouldn't be there is because we've only known them to appear at like Spear Pillar or through one of Hooper's uh, um, ring portal holes. The re the argument for why they could be in Gala is because they're freaking the lot the gods of time and space. They can pretty do almost anything they want. Um, so Diago can go anywhere within time, Palkia can go anywhere within space, so there's no real reason why they couldn't really be there, but I think there's a good reason why you couldn't, but I think it would be hard to, like, go up a way for you to summon them or encounter them, so 50-50 chance on Diago and Palkia. Mind you, Palkia, being a water dragon, could be living in the ocean, in or around the ocean, and Diago could be, like, living in or around the... Uh, or underneath the um, steampunk city or something like that. Now, uh, Heatran, again, not there's not really any fiery places, but Heatran does have good competitive history, so I'm going to give him a 50-50 chance of being in there. Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas. Hmm, now this is an interesting one. Um. Okay, no, hold on, just just quickly, yeah. I just thought of this on off the top of my head, and I have no, and I, I, I could be completely wrong here, but Ready Gigas could work within the law of uh, the games. It's like the bad guys could just be like, um, you know, Fedo is like. Oh, the whole world just sees us as a little island, uh, so that, and we never get any respect. So I plan on using the, the ancient legendary Pokemon, Reggie Gigash, to pull the continents together and make, uh, and it, uh, bring them together and uh, to form a giant UK that will rule the world and bring back the uh, Great Gala Empire or something like that. So. Ready, Gigas, depending on the motiva motivation of the villains, could within reason work. Now, Giratina so forms. Giratina is in the distortion world, and he can make portals to literally anywhere in the world, so there is no reason why he should not be able to um, be in Gala, maybe... Um, you get, um, oh, I can't remember what the item's called. Hold on, let me just get my book here quickly with all the sets of Pokemon, because I, I should have the name in here. Go all the way to Generation 5, then go back a couple pages to go to Gen 4 Legendaries. Ah, uh, see a Shaman... Cresselia, 
Fiona, Manaphy, Darkrai. Grittiest orb. If you get like the grittiest orb, that that could then like summon Giratina somehow, or may and you could probably do the same for um where's Dialga and Palkia? Like the Adamant Orb I think it's called for Dialga. And yeah, it's Lustrious Orb for Palkia. And for Dialga it is the Adamant Orb. So you you could use them to summon Dialga, Palkia and Giratina being as they can pretty much go anywhere within time and space. <sighs> But the question again is where you would do that, but again, I guess you could tie it to their typings with Palkia being water type, you could do it out of the ocean, and with Dialga being steel type, you could do it in a steampunk place, and Giratina maybe you could do it in a haunted, haunted mansion or something like that. Cresselia can be, pretty much be summoned with Lunar Rings, wing, not ring, so there's no reason why Cresselia couldn't be there. I have no doubt that Manaphy or, and or Fiona will be there. Because you know they live in the they live in the ocean. Well, like I said, the ocean's like five minute walk from where I live. Darkrai again. If you can have Cresselia, you're probably gonna have Darkrai. Shaman. Well, I love Shaman. Like I think his landform's adorable, and I do like his uh, sky form and the shiny. He he basically becomes Sonic, and I do like that. I can't really think off the top of my head any real reason for Shaman to be in Gala. And last but not least, Arceus. Uh, right, so this really hinges on two thing on a, you know on two things. And those two things are Dialga and Palkia. If you can get Dialga and Palkia, then you would probably be able to use them to summon Arceus, just like, hey, good job, you captured uh, Dialga and Palkia, now you get to battle me, Arceus. Yeah. So those are the Pokemon from Generation 4 that I do think, do I don't think will be in Gala, oh, it's just like, uh, I think I you I think I got rid of very few Mons. Yeah, there's not many mons here that I actually got rid of. Like if we go back to Gen 5, just like massive areas, just like mons being removed. Here, just like, it, not massive areas, but there's a, you can see there's a lot of mons that have been removed. And again, lots of mons here have been removed as well. So, yeah, I guess I, my, uh, my Gen 4 love here might make me a tad bit biased towards keeping them. But I, or for the most part, I have all, I have managed to justify what how I could think they would could, how I think they would fit in Gala. And it's only on the odd occasion, like with these ghost types, it was, it was like they ghost type. I love ghost type. They're staying in. Also, they're Gen Four. They're just better. Or Magnezone having like um, one of the best designs in all of Pokemon. But yeah. And well, actually, I'll I'll make out Arceus a maybe here because because it really depends on if Pal Dial if you can get Dialga and Palkia. But I do think that um, if there will be Generation Four remakes, then this list. Right, let's let's uh, look at this under. There's probably going to be Gen Four if there's going to be Generation Four remakes. If there's going to be Generation Four remakes, no starters, um, no Starly, um, no Craniodos or Shield on, uh, no Pasurisu, no Breezel or Floatzel, no Shellas or Gastrodon, uh, no Driftbloom or Driftblim, uh, no Miss Magius, no Glammy Owl, no Chingling. No uh, skunk tank, no um, spirit tomb. Um, why did it just zoom out all the way? You know, just basically just remove like most of this list if there are going to be Generation Four remakes, because you're just going to be able to get them all in them. I guess maybe I don't know. It's a bit odd because again, nothing like this has happened before, so it's a bit like. How do we tell if they're hinting at future 
games like before, um, like in the Generation Four, um, you could tell that they were into the, like Gen Two remakes because you couldn't really get many Gen Two Pokemon in the Gen Three. I don't know, because I, I haven't played Gen Three that much, but. Uh, even outside, if you didn't have Gen 3, you wouldn't be, really be able to get many Gen 2 Pokemon. And even then, you'd have to get um, Fire Red and Leaf Green, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's just like a lot of hinting that Gen 2 remakes could be on the way. But I, I don't know if excluding Pokemon will mean that, uh, that they're hinting at remakes anymore because it could. Because then, why would they make the. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do think there will be Gen for remakes eventually you know after this like i do think after like sword and shield there's gonna be gen 4 remakes anyway i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye if you liked this video don't forget to hit that like button comment down below what you thought of this video and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face don't forget to hit that to subscribe and uh, the ring and ding uh, that uh, notification bell Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.